Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Hella Jam. If you haven't yet, go on ahead and click that subscribe button. I'd love for you to join the Hella Jam family. Don't forget to click on that little bell so you get notified every time I post a video. Once again, this is another thrift haul. I just love thrifting. I think it's like a hidden talent of mine. If there's one thing that I'm not, I can like kind of be cocky about. Not cocky, but if there's one thing that I really am proud about, it's all the things that I find thrifting. Especially when I go into my favorite savers, not having an idea of what I want just to browse around and I leave with a gold mine. Most of the time when I go thrifting, I just try to go with an open mind. If you guys haven't seen my thrifting tips video, I'll leave the card up here. I find that when I go in with an open mind, I feel like Santa. I feel like Santa in a brown paper bag over my shoulder like I hit the motherfucking jackpot. And so, I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Look at this bag. I don't know where it's from. I don't know what year it's from. But I just love the fact that it's beaded beautifully. I think this would be perfect, perfect, perfect for spring. You guys know I'm all about the bohemian woven wicker vibe. And the wooden straps. It's beautiful. I love these colors. I'm actually going to be selling my closet at the Femme Fair on April 21st in San Francisco. If you guys are in the Bay Area or you want to take a road trip, me as well as a bunch of other badass bloggers are going to be selling their closet. I'm definitely selling this pretty number at the Femme Fair on April 21st. So definitely come by. I'd love to see you, give you guys a hug and um, you can shop my closet. You guys know I love caftans. You know I love moo-moos. This satin number is just like, I feel like I just left Greece. So, so beautiful and it's so soft. And I feel like this is gonna be perfect for once I get larger, especially in the pregnancy. I don't really like wearing pants. You guys can't tell right now, but I'm wearing sweatpants along with this really cute furry number. I'm very, very excited for this. I'm gonna be going to Hawaii in April. If you guys have any suggestions on where to go in Kauai and Maui, uh, let me know. I'm still deciding whether or not I should keep it or if I should sell it at the shop. I think that's the hardest part with thrifting is like you get so attached to the items and you're like, wow, that's such a good find that it's hard to resell them. I go with the intent of like, you know, if I don't, I could always resell it. I just feel like I'd be wearing nothing and that's the best outfit you could ever find. Ooh, kimono. Look at this kimono, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. The brand is Hayashi Kimono. It was made in Japan. So this is a real authentic kimono robe situation. I love the blue with this like burnt orange taupe neutral color. You guys know I'm really bad at describing colors. You can never have too many kimonos, right? Like, I feel like I could wear this cinched up with like a little gold belt, a little vintage belt, or I could wear this with like high-waisted jeans, high-waisted shorts, and a little graphic tee underneath. If I can't think of how I'm gonna wear this, then I might just sell it at the fun fair. So come on back. Personally, I love styling kimonos with like a cute little crop top and high-waisted shorts or jeans, but since there's a bump and there's a fetus in my uterus. I don't think that I can wear crop tops anymore. So um, I bought the kimonos, really excited to wear them and rock them, but I kind of don't really have too much inspiration on how to wear them, especially with a bump. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can style this kimono with a bump, I'm thinking like a bodycon dress or I don't know, like a monochrome, oversized look, but I'm still kind of unsure. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I can style a kimono, please let me know. Ooh, this is a good one. Another trick of mine is I love shopping in the large XL because I love wearing oversized everything. Before I even was pregnant, I used to, you guys know, I used to always wear oversized things. And I love the texture of this. It's like an accordion type of um, texture. So you know it's very forgiving to the body and also I feel like it would drape beautifully. So I think that this would look nice for like a black and black ensemble or I can wear like um, a long peasant skirt with it and make it like super Japanese and cute. Really pumped off this blouse. Ooh, this kimono is so gorgeous, guys. This is a true kimono, where is it? Oh, it's Ichiban, made in Japan. Yep, it's not made from China, folks. It's made from Japan, so it's authentic. And I think it is vintage. I love, love, love the detail of the flowers and the different colors. And I think this, this would be perfect for spring. I just imagine some like goddess wearing this. Just imagine like a monochrome like beige look with this, like a beige tank top with like a linen pants, some heels walking around. <sighs> it's beautiful. 
beautiful. I gravitate to kimonos, but sometimes I'm kind of like in a rut on how to wear it or when to rock it. Um, oftentimes when I buy things that I'm like so excited about, I ha it, ha it takes time for me to actually feel comfortable on how to style it and wear it. Um, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. If I don't figure out if I want to keep this or not, I'm going to be selling this at Femme Fair too. Oh my gosh, this dress, guys. This. <sighs> With this dress, I feel like some amazing mod flight attendant. Remember that like airplane movie with like Gwyneth Paltrow and Christina Applegate where they compete on like becoming flight attendant? I feel like this is the perfect fit for it. I love the different colors on the buttons. I love that it buttons on the uh, upper left side instead of just straight down the middle. It's a beautiful color block. It's a vintage. I love the shoulder pads. Both of the buttons have a gold finish on the outside but this has a mustard to match the mustard sleeve and this has a like uh, army green olive button. I don't know if I wanna sell this. I feel like this would be perfect, like even at a wedding wearing this with some like nude heels. I don't know, I feel like this is such a great staple vintage item. But I'm really, really pumped off this. I can't wait to style it. I think I can wear it now because it is a looser dress. Um, I just need to have an occasion to actually go out and wear it. It's such a good find. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the colors and the color block. Huh. Now for the star of the show. Whenever I go thrifting, I always just take my time walking through the aisles. And like I said, I just try to keep an open mind. And I was walking through the furniture section and I spotted these beautiful, beautiful lime green dark wood rattan vintage chairs. I looked around to see if anybody else saw it and I just ran up to it. <laughs> I asked the man because I can't lift because I'm pregnant. I was like, can you please like pull it out of the, you know, it was under an overhang. I said, can you pull it out for me? There were two of them. There were two of these chairs and they were $15 each. And I told myself, you know what? I have to get them. That's the thing. It's like with all of these thrifted items, if it speaks to me and I think that it's a good find, there is absolutely no way in hell I'm believing without it. And especially for $15 and it's rattan and it's just so incredibly gorgeous and in perfect condition. So driving a Mini Cooper and it was completely packed and there was no way that I was gonna be able to take it home with me. So I asked my brother um, on his way back from his work trip if he could pick it up. I talked to the manager and she said that they can't hold it more than like a couple of hours because oftentimes even if you put sold on it, somebody will swoop it and steal it. So it was like stressing and I was like, Jordan, are you sure you'll be able to do it? Are you sure it's not too much? I know you just got back from a work trip. It's like, yeah, no worries, I'll do it. <sighs> I was so excited and felt like I hit the jackpot. And then my brother decided to pull a little prank on me. So I guess we'll just play this video now. Well, hello there. Jordan from Hella Jameson here. I want to show you this special buy I'm about to get here. Great deal. I found it on my own without the Hella Jam. Here it is. Saved for me. Sold. As you can see, it barely fit into my Jeep. Almost like it was meant to be. It fits just like a glove. What a great deal. Found it all on my own. Well, here I am with my newest purchase, the best deal in the world that, of course, I found by myself, the Hella Jameson without the Hella Jam. Believe it or not, these chairs only cost me $15. If you need help finding steals like this, click my link in bio, the Hella Jameson. That's it with my very, very quick thrift haul. It was probably in Savers for like an hour. And of course, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I'd love for you to join the Hello Gym family. Don't forget to click the like button and let me know what your favorite pieces were. I can't really decide. I think the chairs are my favorite one, but yeah, let me know what your favorites are. All right, thanks so much. Peace.